What's going on guys, Phil here. Welcome back to a Workshop Wednesday. It's actually Monday today, but you're going to be watching this on Wednesday because I'm working Wednesday. So I'm going to edit this, schedule it for Wednesday so you can have a Workshop Wednesday. Today I started working on these doors, these two shaker style doors. These are just fake shaker styles, just a solid MDF board and really outside. Uh, if you want to know how I make these, then uh, let me know in the comments below. I probably will make some more in the future, so I want to do. Uh, and if you want to see, I'll make a video of that. But today is Workshop Wednesday. We are fixing things. And by fixing things, it's just general household items that somebody's brought to me that have been broken and they want me to fix. Uh, a couple of drawers from a wardrobe, coffee table for the side of a sofa and a little stool because they've all been broken over time and she just brought them all together and we're going to fix them and I'll show you how easy it is to fix general items in your house. Hi guys, so like I said there's a couple of drawers here, you've got the bottoms of the drawers and the fronts and what's basically happened is the fronts come off on these dowels and then it just falls apart from there. Uh, these are going to be the easiest things to fix. This was the little coffee table thing by the side of a stool. Uh, I actually ended up assembling this for uh, a few months ago actually and it didn't have any bits so I had to use literally what I had in my tool bag to put this together and as you can see the glue that I used on there it's just pulled the paint off the surface and so what we're going to do is I'm going to sand these edges, I'm going to sand there and then we're going to glue it all together properly. I'm also going to repair this scratch because I think I still have some grey that will match this and then we can repaint the top as well. Uh, this is going to be the hardest one because this is uh, like has just been ripped out of its little holes in here and it's clearly just really thin MDF with screws screwed through that side and then pinned together and it's probably not designed to hold any kind of weight. So we're going to start with these drawers because like I say they're going to be the easiest. We're going to move on to this because while that paint's drying I can start on that one. Let's get started. Alright guys so we're pretty much set up here. Uh, I'm only going to repair one of these drawers because the other one's going to be exactly the same and you don't need to see the same thing twice. Uh, we've got the drawer, we've got the base. This base has got a little bit of a uh, broken corner here but once it's slotted in place and the glue's in there that'll hold that quite well and I'm going to glue the front as well. To help hold this I'm going to use a band clamp. These are brilliant for square pieces. You can take the corner brackets off and you can use them for any kind of shape that you want and they work out really well. So we have actually tried to use this bracket and uh, what these are supposed to do is when you screw it in it's supposed to push this base up into place and it's supposed to hold it but garbage. So like I say I'm going to glue this in around this edge here. There's enough gluing area there that it's going to hold really well for the application and it's going to be a lot stronger than it was even brand new. You don't need a lot, just a thin bead of glue in there. You can, if you really want to, use my favourite glue of all time, which is Mitre Bond. Uh, that will instantly hold this, uh, but it's not as strong. It's only meant for temporary fixes of most things while you are working and then the wood glue sets in. So, thin bead in there, slide the base in, just like assembling it for the first time anyway. And then we'll, they have tried to use a bit of wood glue on here, but it's just been a little dab on the dowels and not on the face as well. So we're going to do that. A little bit on there, don't need to be loads, because this holds fairly tight. And again, a little bit inside those holes, a little bit inside these holes. Yeah, you don't need a ton, just enough. So that when you put it in there, you do get a little bit of squeeze out. But you don't want 
a lot of squeeze out because that's just wasted glue that you can't use at all. Put another thin strip down the side there. We'll tighten them handles up once we're done. And just slide it all together. And then knock it down. And that is nearly done. We're going to get the clamp around there just because this edge here isn't holding as well as it could do. It's just twisting a little bit when you hit it. So we're going to get the clamp on that. When you're using one of these, it can be a bit fiddly to set up, but once you set them up, they're alright. So you pull it roughly as tight as you can, and then you put your little clip down. Like so, and that'll hold that there. It's still a little bit loose, which is good. And then you just twist the handle. That's one drawer, nice and easy. Just need to tighten these down with a screwdriver. Uh, looks like they are a posi 2, which is what I actually have here. And they're nice and tight now. So I'll put this to one side. Alright guys, so we've got the little tiny coffee table thing here. What we're going to use with this, I'm going to get some extra dowels because it only had one dowel and none of those. So I'm going to put an extra dowel in the other side and glue that in. I'm probably going to glue a dowel in there and then I'll put a screw through the side um, because again I don't have any of those cut things. So uh, that's what we're going to do with this. We're going to fill in that hole as well and we're going to repaint that. So we might do the filling that first and then we'll get on to this bit while that fill is drying. It's all about trying to optimize your time and make sure you are doing things as efficiently as possible. So we need to take this glue off here first. So this is just a, a piece of 60 grit and I bought these by mistake because I thought it was the ones that had the removable little triangle bit at the top and I could use them for the multi-tool but it turns out they were one solid thing so I just use them hand sanding. I'm going to knock this down a little bit just where this uh, gouge is, it looks like something's knocked against it, some kind of screw or something. Because it's MDF, it's uh, really easy to work down. So there's still a little bit of a gouge in there. I don't want to go too far, otherwise you end up with a little dip. So I am going to get some filler in there. I'm just using all-purpose ready-mixed interior and exterior filler. Grab a glue on your finger, just really push it in so that it leaves a smooth surface on the top and it just gets into that crack that you're trying to fill. It'll be all right. We'll set that aside for 10 minutes to dry. So these bottom bits here, as you can see the glue that I tried to stick with the top bit didn't really go well. That dowel glue didn't go too well. And this screw that I put in the side didn't hold that well either. And the main issue was that it was the paint that came off. So the glue took the paint off and that then in turn just fell apart after that. And so I did put quite a big screw in it. Pull these bits out here. Go and get our spare dowels. So the dowel goes in the top one. Look at that. Pretty much exact. Now I've got so much glue in there, which is interesting because I'm sure the dowel was in there. There we go, that one's gone in. See if we can get this one in. Yeah, it's on a bit of an angle. That's a little bit long, so I'm just going to trim that down. Right, that's trimmed down. That fits nicely in there. And make it 
nicely in there. Maybe be able to get a dowel in there by that method. Oh yeah, that's coming really well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use another dowel just to put on to the top, just so I can knock that further through, and I'm going to use that as a support. Like so. Uh, so that's pretty much flush in there. And we'll do the same on the bottom of this side. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to get some glue in those and we'll put it back together. So if you don't have a clamp big enough, you can use two clamps. And then I'll get the same on the other side because that's kind of twisting that way. It's a whole lot easier if I had one clamp that was big enough to go across here. I think it might be time to buy some. The reason the top came off is because there was zero dowels to use for the top in these. Uh, so now I'm going to try and get a couple of dowels in there and then when we put this top on that will glued nice and square in place and properly. So we'll set this aside to dry. I have 120 here. Whenever you're repainting anything that's got a paint on it, you need to scrub that surface up just to give the paint something to adhere to. And there we go. Like I said, this is a pretty good match for this colour. Uh, if it looks really daft, I'll sand down the base and I'll repaint that as well. But it should look alright, I'm fairly confident. Should really put this in a tray and then roller it, but because we're doing such a small area, there's no point in getting a tray out and then having to clean the tray. It's oil based and it's just right nightmare to clean up. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the surface. I'm going to roller it on and then uh, that should be good. So I'm going to do the base first because it's not as critical to get perfect. Um, I can kind of scuff it up while I'm working on the rest. So. While well, that's drying, I'll set that to the side and we'll start on the round stool. So we're on to the round stool. This needs to sit inside here. It clearly went. I'm not wanting to unpin this whole thing, unwrap it and try and get inside it. So I think polyurethane glue. Alright, so I've just got a scrap piece of MDF. Right, so that's now sat there. I'll try and flip this over and put some weight on it. Quite happy with that, I'm going to put a little bit of weight on top there and that should hold that pretty well. That glue is going to expand, it's going to get into the hole where the screws have been ripped out, it's going to get into the fibres of the MDF and that should hold that one. Still great. So that's the end of this video. Uh, the drawers are nice and solid, they're not going anywhere. Both of them are good and solid. Uh, stool works really well. This floor's a bit uneven, so it's rocking a little bit, but there's no creaks or anything there. Wait for the second coat on this to finish drying just on the top, and that looks pretty good. You can still kind of see where that mark was, but it's not a big deep gouge anymore. Uh, like I say, if you want to see me make shaker style doors, then just leave a comment below, and next time I'm doing them, I'm sure I will make a video if enough people want to see them. If anything in this video helped you, just hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see work truck madness like this, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.